It's often said that the leopard is the most widespread big cat species. Although there's a relatively healthy population of leopards in parts of Africa and Asia, their global number might be deceiving. So, exactly how many leopards are left in the wild? And which country has the most leopards? A major study conducted in 2016 revealed that leopards have retained only 25% of their historic range. The study also mentions that leopards had a combined distribution in Africa and Asia of around 35 million square kilometers, which is around 3.3 million square miles. In fact, leopards did have an extensive historical distribution across Africa and Asia. Consequently, due to habitat loss, trophy hunting, poaching and other detrimental factors, the leopard lost nearly 75% of its historical range. Their current range is highly fragmented. Today, nine leopard subspecies are found in Africa and Asia. Sadly, the population of several subspecies have declined by more than 90%. Mostly found in sub-Saharan Africa, the African leopard has lost around 67% of its historical habitat. The current leopard population in Africa is concentrated in eastern, central and southern Africa. Studies have also shown that loss of habitat for leopards varied greatly within Africa. The research conducted in 2016 calculated that leopards in southern Africa lost around 50% of their historical habitat. In comparison, leopards in West Africa and North Africa lost over 90% of their habitat. In North Africa, the leopard population is very small and is considered to be critically endangered. Traditionally, North Africa was home to the legendary Barbary leopard, which was initially considered to be a separate subspecies, but was later subsumed under Panthera pardus pardus, which is the scientific name for the African leopard. Nonetheless, leopards were extensively hunted in North African countries like Morocco and Algeria. So there's no estimate of how many leopards are left in these countries. In countries like Tunisia, Libya and Egypt, the leopard is considered to be extinct. As mentioned earlier, most African leopards are concentrated in eastern, central and southern Africa. In fact, it's believed that the healthiest leopard population lives in southern Africa. For instance, in 2020, a report by the Botswana Department of Wildlife and National Parks calculated that there were 4,295 leopards in Botswana. In 1988, Martin and de Moulinaire estimated that 16,064 leopards lived in Zimbabwe. In 2019, a national census report estimated that Namibia was home to 11,733 leopards. In 1988, Martin and de Moulinaire calculated that Mozambique had 37,542 leopards. In South Africa, the leopard population is estimated to be around 23,400. But these calculations might be inaccurate. Due to the elusive nature of leopards, providing an exact leopard count in the African continent is challenging. Furthermore, Leopards inhabiting the forested regions of Central and West Africa are poorly studied compared to leopards in Southern Africa. Yet by the 1940s, leopards had disappeared from much of their range in the West African coastal forest belt and were largely restricted to protected areas. For instance, in Mauritania, leopards are considered to be extinct. The last official record of a leopard was from the 1950s. In Mali, a report by the United States Agency for International Development in 2008 mentioned that leopards were nearly extinct. Although leopard sightings are reported from Niger, their numbers are deemed to be very low. According to some reports, leopards may have been extinct since the 1990s. In Nigeria, leopards are restricted to a few protected areas. A report from 1996 stated that there were between 1,000 to 10,000 leopards in Nigeria. But this estimate is questionable because the leopard population drastically declined in the country. While leopards are also considered to be extinct in Togo, there's no conclusive leopard population estimates from neighboring countries either. Even in countries like Kenya, the leopard population is speculative. 
A leopard survey conducted in 1981 estimated that there were between 10,000 to 12,000 leopards in Kenya. In other East African countries like Tanzania, various researchers have estimated that there are around 100,000 leopards in the country. But this estimate is speculative too. In 2010, the Uganda Wildlife Authority stated that the leopard population in Uganda may be between 150 to 200. In Somalia, the leopard population had declined by the 1960s because of civil unrest in the region. There's no data to calculate the leopard population. In Ethiopia, a report from 2009 stated that there may be several thousand leopards in the country. So exactly how many leopards live in the African continent? The often cited estimate of 700,000 leopards in sub-Saharan Africa is most likely flawed too. The estimate of 700,000 leopards in Africa was first published in 1988 and was calculated using questionable methods. Hence, it was widely criticized and the leopard estimate was deemed to be unrealistically high. The report contains a breakdown of leopard populations for 41 African countries. If you wish to study this report in detail, we've provided a link in the video description. Furthermore, according to this report, other African countries like Angola, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Gabon and Zambia supposedly have more than 30,000 leopards. While there's no current leopard count in Zambia, the country is known to have high leopard populations in their national parks. For instance, South Luangwa National Park has one of highest leopard densities in Africa. While leopards are extant in Cameroon, Central African Republic and Gabon, it's fair to assume their numbers have declined since the 1988 survey. Even in Angola, there's no current estimate of the leopard population. Native to the Arabian Peninsula, the Arabian leopard has lost around 98% of its original habitat. In fact, this leopard has lost its population in many of its historic range countries. Until the late 1960s, the Arabian leopard had a wide distribution in the Arabian Peninsula, especially in the western mountains of Saudi Arabia, Yemen and Oman. In the 1970s, a small population inhabited the deserts of Israel too. Today, the distribution of the Arabian leopard is limited to Yemen, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and probably the United Arab Emirates. Altogether, it's believed that less than 200 Arabian leopards are left in the wild. Around 50 leopards are found in Oman, which makes it the country with the largest population of Arabian leopards at one time, leopards were common in the mountainous regions of Israel too, but by the 1950s, the leopard population declined due to hunting and other factors. Although leopards were considered to be extinct in Israel by the 1960s, around 25 leopards were rediscovered in the Judean desert and its environs. Today, it's believed that the Judean desert leopards are extinct. While a small leopard population may still be alive in Israel, Leopards are considered to be extinct in neighboring countries like Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. Since the 18th century, the Persian leopard has lost around 84% of its historic range. The current range of the Persian leopard spans across 11 countries. After the Russian conquest of the Caucasus in the 19th century, Persian leopards were extensively hunted for their skins. Furthermore, Leopards were seen as pests by the imperial government. In order to encourage people to kill leopards, the authorities started offering rewards. In fact, poaching is still a major threat to Persian leopards. Today, the Persian leopard is found in 11 countries. It's believed that 550 to 850 leopards live in Iran, making it the country with the largest population of Persian leopards. Altogether, it's believed that there are between 800 to 1,000 Persian leopards left in the wild. Outside Iran, it was estimated that around 200 to 300 Persian leopards lived in Afghanistan. However, this estimate was calculated before the Soviet invasion in 1979. Today, even though rumors and sightings of leopards persist, there's no conclusive estimate of the leopard population in the country. On the Indian subcontinent, 
the Indian leopard has lost around 72% of its original habitat. However, there is a significant leopard population thriving in India. In 2022, a survey conducted in 20 states revealed that there are nearly 14,000 leopards in India. A prior leopard survey in 2018 estimated that there were around 13,000 leopards in India. Hence, during a span of four years, the leopard population in India increased by 8%. According to the survey, 3,907 leopards were recorded in the state of Madhya Pradesh. In Maharashtra, 1,985 leopards were recorded. In Karnataka, 1,879 leopards were recorded. And in Tamil Nadu, 1,070 leopards were recorded. However, in some states, the leopard population had declined. Altogether, 13,874 leopards were recorded in 20 Indian states. At one time, three leopard subspecies were classified in the Indian subcontinent, including the Indian leopard, Nepal leopard, and Kashmir leopard. However, the Nepal leopard and Kashmir leopard were later incorporated as Indian leopards. So, how many leopards live in Nepal and other neighboring countries? Geographically, Nepal is situated within the Himalayan mountains. Since the leopard inhabits these mountains, the local leopard population is supplemented by leopards from neighboring Himalayan range countries like Pakistan, India and Bhutan. Yet it's estimated that there are less than 1,000 leopards in Nepal. Leopards are found in Bhutan and Bangladesh too, but there's no precise information about their population. Interestingly, scientists believe that in Pakistan the Persian leopard and Indian leopard probably intermix. Here, the Indus River is used as a geographical boundary to demarcate the two leopard subspecies. Due to the lack of consolidated nationwide data, there's no exact information about the leopard population in Pakistan. Although leopards are fairly abundant throughout the Indian subcontinent, some studies claim that during the past century, the Indian leopard population might have declined by 90%. Regardless, the Indian subcontinent is home to the largest leopard population outside Africa. In the island of Java, the Javan leopard has lost around 84% of its original habitat, but in the island of Sri Lanka, the Sri Lankan leopard has lost around 63% of its habitat. According to the study conducted in 2016, the Sri Lankan leopard retains the most amount of original habitat at 37%. In comparison, the Javan leopard has retained 16% of its historic range. In the island of Java, the leopard has lost more than 1,000 square kilometers of suitable habitat during a span of 20 years. According to the IUCN, it's estimated that there are between 350 to 525 Javan leopards left in the wild. In Sri Lanka, the leopard population is largely restricted to protected areas. The current Sri Lankan leopard population is estimated to be between 800 to 1,000. In Indochina, leopards have lost around 96% of their historic habitat, but at one time these leopards were found throughout Southeast Asia. Due to deforestation and poaching, the Indochinese leopard population has drastically decreased in countries like Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia and Malaysia. They are also extinct in some Asian countries like Singapore. It's estimated that 500 to 700 leopards live in the Malay Peninsula. In Thailand, the leopard population is estimated to be between 400 to 800. In Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam, the Indochinese leopard is considered to be functionally extinct. Although there are leopards in Myanmar and southern China, the exact population is unknown. According to the IUCN, the total number of Indo-Chinese leopards in Southeast Asia is less than 2,500. Although there's a substantial leopard population in the Malay Peninsula, leopards are extinct in countries like Singapore. Although leopards are considered to be functionally extinct in Cambodia, researchers have identified a viable population in eastern Cambodia. Native to China, the North China leopard has lost 98% of its historic range. 
Sadly, its current distribution is highly fragmented. Today, the North China leopard is restricted to several nature reserves and a few isolated patches in northern China. Just like other leopard subspecies, the North China leopard population decreased due to habitat loss and poaching. According to recent statistics, it's believed that less than 400 North China leopards remain in the wild. Currently, the North China leopard is classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. It's also important to note that China is home to four leopard subspecies, the Amur leopard, North China leopard, Indo-Chinese leopard, and Indian leopard. The Amur leopard is found in northeast China, on the border with Russia and North Korea. The North China leopard inhabits northern China. In the southwest, the Indo-Chinese leopard can be found on the border with Laos and Myanmar. Furthermore, the Indian leopard can be found towards the southeast. In 1998, it was estimated that there were 1,000 leopards in China, which included Amur leopards, North China leopards, and Indo-Chinese leopards. Nonetheless, the current leopard population in China is highly fragmented and small. Experts also believe that since there are no hard geographical boundaries between these leopard subspecies, they might have considerably intermixed. In fact, in 2017, the Cat Classification Task Force of the Cat Specialist Group subsumed the North China leopard with the Amur leopard. Found in the Russian Far East, Northern China and the Korean Peninsula, the Amur leopard has lost around 98% of its historical habitat. Sadly, the Amur leopard is the most endangered leopard subspecies. Due to habitat loss and poaching, the Amur leopard population is a mere fraction of what it used to be. But their population has increased slightly in recent times. Although the Amur leopard was once widely distributed in northern China, East Russia and the Korean Peninsula, today their habitat is restricted to a small region on the border of Russia and China. It's believed that less than 200 Amur leopards remain in the wild. So how many leopards are left in the world? As mentioned earlier, calculating leopard populations is a difficult task due to the elusive nature of leopards. Overall, the leopard is found in about 70 countries. According to Martin and de Moulinard's 1988 report, 15 African countries have over 10,000 leopards. But there's an intriguing estimate too. Martin and de Moulinard mentioned that the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is the second largest country in Africa, may be home to around 120,000 leopards. They further claim that the leopard population in the Congo constitutes about one third of the total leopard population in Africa. If this calculation is correct, the Democratic Republic of Congo may be the country with the most leopards. Though the Democratic Republic of Congo has over one million square kilometers of rainforest, recent information about its leopard population is inconclusive. Fair to say since Martin and de Merlinaire estimated that no less than 120,000 leopards inhabited this ecosystem, the population might have decreased since then. Then again, the initial calculation may have been flawed too. But in India, a survey conducted in 2022 revealed that there were nearly 14,000 leopards in the country. To be more precise, the survey estimated that there were 13,874 leopards in India. It's also important to note that this study was conducted in 20 states and only included about 70% of the Indian leopards range. So it's fair to say that the actual number of leopards in India might be higher. All throughout their global range, leopards are threatened by habitat loss and fragmentation, while facing additional threats due to poaching and other human-induced factors. Even though the leopard is the most widespread big cat species, current research has shown that their population is not exactly stable. Hence, just as with tigers and other big cats, leopard conservation should be equally prioritized to protect these elusive felines.